Hi, my name's Laura Menard, and I'm a librarian at IU School of Medicine's Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the third video in the EBM Topics Risk Series, and in this video we discuss relative risk reduction versus absolute risk reduction. The learning objectives for this video are as follows. Define relative risk reduction, RRR, and absolute risk reduction, ARR, in the context of medical studies. Explain the difference between ARR and RRR. And calculate ARR and RRR using real numbers. In a therapy study, we might compare two groups by asking, how much risk is reduced in the experimental group relative to the control group? This is called relative risk reduction, or RRR. The formula for relative risk reduction is risk in the control group, aka CER, minus the risk in the experimental group, aka EER, divided by the risk in the control group. Using our numbers from the previous video, the way to calculate the RRR would be to take the risk in the control group, 60%, and subtract the risk in the experimental group, 20%, to get 40%. You would then divide that 40% by 60%, the risk in the control group. Using this formula, the RRR would be 67%. You can also determine RRR with the following formula. 1 minus RR equals RRR. So, if we know that the RR is 33%, we will again get 67% for our RRR. Lastly, there's one more type of risk to discuss. It is absolute risk reduction, ARR. It's the most clinically relevant risk and the risk that patients should be most interested in. However, it's often not reported in the mainstream press nor in studies because unlike RR, it doesn't translate across groups with different baseline risk. Absolute risk reduction is the absolute mathematic difference between risk in the experimental or therapy group and the risk in control group, and measures the treatment effect. What is the absolute risk reduction in our drug study? If the risk in the control group is 60%, and the risk in the experimental group is 20%, the ARR works out to be 40%. A large study recruited over 60,000 women to examine the impact of screening mammograms on breast cancer mortality. One group received mammograms, and 91 out of the 31,000 died. The other group did not receive mammograms, and 128 out of 31,000 died. For this particular study, the RRR is an impressive 29%. However, that only takes the top of the fractions into account, representing patients with the event of interest. Let's look at the whole picture. To calculate the ARR, we subtract the risk in the experimental group, 0.03%, from the risk in the control group, 0.04%, to get 0.01%. That's a big difference from the RRR. In a later video, you'll find out how to use the ARR to calculate numbers needed to treat. Remember, absolute risk reduction is not often reported in studies, but it is useful for determining treatment effect. Relative risk reduction compares two different risks. Thank you for watching this short video on relative risk reduction and absolute risk reduction. Questions? feel free to contact us at the Ruth Lilly Medical Library. Be sure to check out our other videos and tutorials available through the library website.